Hello, everybody. Welcome to the video. Today we have the perfect off season for the Buffalo Bills. So today we're going to be, you know, working on that. And um, yeah, actually, this Bills team has quite a few things that are going to be questioned here in this off season. Safety is going to be one of them. But I definitely want to bring back 25 year old Tremaine Edmonds. I'll give him a pretty big deal. He's a pretty vital part of this team, even though he had great interest. I don't care. I just want to guarantee that he comes back to the team. We only get one shot at it. Um, nobody else really, uh, I'm not really concerned about anybody else or bringing anyone else back. Uh, Devin Singletary's up there, but I mean, you've got other, uh, running backs. Isaiah McKenzie's here, uh, in your wide receiver room, Jamison Crowder's 30 years old and he's going to be gone soon. So I don't know if you really want to keep Isaiah McKenzie here. I think you can kind of replace him. Whether it's in the draft or in free agency, I can't uh, tell you, but I'm, I'm sure we'll, we can replace him. Let's head into free agency here, see our options, see who's there, maybe a replacement for Isaiah McKenzie, or maybe we can even bring back Isaiah McKenzie. So uh, I'm not really sure what we'll exactly target in this free agency class, because I'm sure that there will be you know options out there for... Uh, not a, just about anything, but like there should be some stuff out there. Um, so James Cook is the leading running back on roster. And Naeem Hines and then Duke Johnson, who's somehow under 30 years old to this point. <laughs> um, but uh, Naeem Hines and James Cook probably won't do it, but I probably, spoiler alert, will look to draft one. And at wide receiver, Michael Thomas with this team would be kind of crazy. Just looked up at our cap salary and uh or a set yeah cap salary salary cap salary cap found it cap room and we have nearly 30 dollars or 30 million dollars um uh, i think paris campbell's your perfect uh you know replacement for isaiah mckenzie i think that he can basically do anything he could and he's only one overall under and two years younger so uh like that there he even has more speed uh, not quite there with the uh, agility or anything like that, but that's fine. Who's counting all that? And at tight end, you have a really good one with uh, Dawson Knox. But other than that, you're missing, you know, a piece or two. So maybe try to get someone like Farrell Brown or OJ Howard, who they actually had the beginning of the season, if I'm not mistaken. So um, he could come back, play a more, not utility role, but someone there. Looking at the offensive line, you have Deion Dawkins. At left guard, you have Roger Saffold, which is way too old. Um, at center, Mitch Morris, who's also getting older. And at right guard, Nate Davis is here with full interest, and I will make sure to capitalize on that with a huge offer. Um, not money-wise, but just um, length-wise, sure. Um, give him a seven-year... Just give him a massive offensive line deal for no reason. <laughs> I think that's what the uh, the goal is here with the uh, Nate Davis and that right tackle. Who do you have? You got Tommy Doyle. I'm not going to be able to do it for you. I'll, I'll give you that one right off the rip. Uh, Isaiah wins here. Caleb McGarry. I feel like Isaiah win. It just kind of feels right. Uh, he's older. He's getting up there. I like this deal for Isaiah win. It's uh, pretty friendly to both teams. And um, somehow on top there. And at left end, I mean, you don't really need one with Greg Rousseau. And then at defensive tackle, um, I mean, I mean, you did get uh, Vaughn Miller, and he wasn't used, so you kind of forget about him. But on the interior, Ed Oliver and Daquan Jones should do it. I mean, we don't have the cap room to really bring in uh, much of anyone. And at right end, we already looked at that. Outside linebackers here, none with the... Uh, Real big interest, and I don't think we really need any. If we're going to get anything, it was going to be a safety. Uh, we lost Jordan Poyer, so probably look here. Is Ryan Neal someone that you want to bring in? I think he could be. Give him a three-year deal, $2 million and then $1.5 here. I think that that just works best. So I think that this will be our free agent class with Paris Campbell, Nate Davis. We don't have the top offer on. Isaiah Wynn, Ryan Neal. OJ Howard. So right now we don't need that much money on. Um just give him I don't know this deal. Right here he should happily tag along. 
Um, maybe not. Okay, let's go three and then 1.2 with one mil. Should get it done. There should be more than enough. We're not going to get OJ Howard. I didn't realize that the the uh, Lions were so heavily into that one. But Nate Davis, Paris Campbell, and Ryan Neal. Let's go get a second wave of players if we can find any. We're going to chase Quincy Williams and Caleb McGarry here. Should get them both. Um, if not that one... Okay, I guess Caleb McGarry's not going to sign here. Um, probably do need him, so I'm not going to be scared to give him that offer, even though this is what we're in the negative cap room space. So uh, we should know if we get him or not. I'm not going to advance to week or uh, stage two. I'm just going to go straight to the draft and look at the team, uh, look at what we need and whatnot, and looking at the roster. So we did get Caleb McGarry. Go ahead and just do best lineup possible i do like the offensive line it is not improved but it's good i mean it might be improved uh it looks good josh allen under quarterback and then obviously uh quite the running back room you got here <laughs> um dawson knox quinn morris and whatnot gabe davis paris campbell's here now and stefan diggs probably be a more defensively based drafted bringing quincy williams um Tremaine Edmonds, Matt Milano, Micah Hyde, Damar Hamlin obviously here with star development, Ryan Neal uh playing with us now, Taryn Johnson, uh Kyer and Trey White is all here. AJ Epinesa, I forgot, can probably play the interior. Um yeah, they have him in the interior. So uh yeah, I mean you got a good group of people all around. So I mean not saying that boom the team's solved we still have a few holes one of them's definitely running back we'll look to uh maybe spend a our, our first round on that one and then maybe get a, another receiver i know that might sound crazy but another receiver defensively you need interior uh could use a versatile linebacker safety or and or corner so uh, a lot of good corners down the board in this draft so maybe look later for that one but uh, yeah, let's go ahead and start up the draft. I have my realistic draft class on and in to the game. Everybody should be in the right spot other than like the top four picks. Um, that is before this video. I'm recording this at 11. So that those games happen in an hour for me. So uh, yeah, I mean, it is what it is. Uh, I mean, Madden's kind of slacking in that department. So I have to kind of force wins for all those those guys. So we pick at number 28 which is kind of a bummer because uh, I wouldn't mind, you know, a Bijan Robinson type player, and I'm just not going to trade up for that. And uh, if uh, Mr. Jamir Gibbs is on the board when we're there, I'd be more than happy to take him. Uh, Blake Corum down the board is pretty good. Carbon A, uh, Bigsby, Evans is really good. So a lot of good running backs in this class. We'll see what's there at the late one. I don't think I'm interested in trading up at all. So I think that we can just go straight to our user pick. Um, Jervon Dexter goes off someone that wasn't supposed to go as early, but I guess uh, team liked him. Joey Porter's still here. Probably my pick right now if no Jamir Gibbs. No, Jamir Gibbs is here. Um, great running back. Great running back out of Alabama. Um, I'm just curious on when he's supposed to go and what other picks we have so yeah we literally just have our picks and he's supposed to go uh where is where is he where is mr jamir i might I, I must have passed him you guys are probably screaming at me right now uh i don't i don't i don't see him i also have jackson smith and jigba which would have been a good player to get jalen hyatt so there josh downs zach harrison tuli tulipo uh musgrave tillman where is jamir so i'm guessing it just doesn't show jamir gibbs on the, the board for some reason but that is who we will take our late first rounder on jamir gibbs awesome running back love to bring him onto the team bama running backs we all know we, we've seen what they can do in the past josh jacobs derrick henry just a couple of them and um we'll just simulate to the late second here where we can maybe find some value uh, corner, I think it's going to be Garrett Williams or Clark Phillips. What do you need more in this spot? It's probably height and whatnot. So, I mean, it's got to be... I don't know. Drew Sanders is here, actually. I like Drew Sanders, Arkansas guy. Yeah, Arkansas guy, good player, um, has great coverages, can still rush the passer well. Um, 
just good player, solid, good value at this point, probably. Uh, Garrett Williams is, you know, a little bit right there, but not as big of a need. Uh, Cedric Tillman's still here. Uh, what you do need is interior, though. And I think Lucas Van Ness can really bring that to you. Um, I don't know. Yeah, there's, there's not too much left on the board here as far as interior goes, and that's your biggest need. So we'll bring in Lucas Van Ness. Doesn't really fit our scheme or anything like that. And uh, I do need to fix the draft class up a little bit. I'm not going to lie. So um, hopefully I can touch on that. I know I say this every video that I use this draft class in, but I just never can get to it. Um, always something else going on. And yeah, I think this pick really is made for us. All three of these guys still on the board. I think I'm just going to go Garrett Williams out of Syracuse. He's got good ratings every here and there. He's a, a pretty lengthy guy. Uh, just looks good. And then we'll go to our late number four and see who's there. Uh, so far, we've been getting good value for our picks. Uh, that is for sure. Kenny McIntosh goes off the board uh, due to no surprise. Yeah, Tony Grimes, Kayshawn Boutte, or Booty is still here. Uh, I wouldn't mind him. Jalen Jones this far down the board. Is it bad? Kinu Benton, not really interested. Um, I mean, a developmental guy wouldn't be so bad here. Andre uh, Iasovius. Yeah, yeah, I don't know. I'm, I'm not even gonna try. Runs. He's an amazing athlete. Uh, out of Princeton, skills all around. Not that great of a player, but an awesome athlete. So I have no problem taking Andre here. Andre Esivas. Esivas. Um, sure. Yeah, let's just go Andre here. 98 speed. That does it for me. Never mind. It turns out we have an early fifth as well. So I'll just take this pick. And be done. Tony Grimes, what does he look like? Uh, he's a slot guy with D zone coverage. 4-4 four, four speed. It looks like he's going to be the fastest. Another developmental corner. I'm down with it. Yeah, sure. And he has hidden dev. Sure, I'm on board. It's been so long since I uh, made these guys down the board to the point where I don't remember which ones have what anymore. So to get Tony Grimes and the other corner, was it Garrett Williams? And both of them have hidden development. Great picks. And to get a true look here at our draft class, we hit with Jamir Gibbs, not as much with Lucas Van Ness, but just becomes a need, uh, especially on the interior. He's a bigger guy. He's not quite interior. He could probably fit a 3-4 uh, scheme a little bit better. But Garrett Williams, uh, 74 overall, really good down the board. I didn't know he's a highly rated. Uh, Andre, 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 I'm not sure exactly the pronunciation, obviously. Not the guy to ask. And uh, Tony Grimes on the board is another great corner that should not be rated that high. So I do have to have to fix a few things. That's for sure. But yeah, we got Jamir Gibbs, which I'm super happy about personally. I mean, should be really fun and, uh, you know, just a, a good back for us early. I mean, he will be lower overall rated than uh, most of the guys on roster right now. But I don't really think that matters to this point. He will start for us. Let's go to the regular season, kind of dial the team in and then simulate the season, see how we do uh, as the Buffalo Bills reincarnated. We got super close to the Super Bowl last year, brought in some weapons, improved the offensive line. Um, a few rookies come in can impact almost immediately. So I don't think that we have any sort of issues. Um, I mean, we definitely have a hole every here and there. That's for sure. Um, but not a not too big of a hole to the point where it's, okay, yeah, we're going to have to take care of that. It's just not that sort of... Uh, not that sort of hole, like it's not that bad. It's like we don't have a 65 overall safety or anything. That's a liability over the top. But this will be the new look team. Uh, Is 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 he? Yeah, whatever. I'm I'm leaving it. Uh, Tyler Van Dyke apparently is on the team now too. Someone I need to probably take out of the class. But Jamir Gibbs can go to the top. Uh, Naeem Hines will play that second spot. Uh, I, I don't mind that. Dawson Knox, McGarry. You guys seen this offensive line? Now defensively is where it's going to get interesting. Um, I mean, Van Ness is here. How big of a role will he play? Can't really guarantee you anything. I want Garrett Williams to start immediately over Kyer Elam, uh, but Elam can play over Grimes. I don't have too big of an issue. Garrett Williams would actually be a good strong safety, they're saying. Um, how was that? How is that? What is his coverages look good? Tackles not quite there. Um, he's just as good as an athlete as anybody on the team. Um, not really the highest awareness. I think I'd rather have Ryan Neal playing that spot. 
Um, I, I don't really have too big of an issue with uh, Ryan Neal there. Uh, Quincy Williams to still play that outside linebacker role. That is probably where Drew Sanders would have been playing. So uh, there's that. And at specialist, they will have uh, Garrett Williams in the slot, which I don't mind. Epinesa and Oliver up the middle. Russo, Von Miller off the edge. Edmonds and Milano as sub linebackers. Jamir and then Naeem Hines and Paris Campbell. So you guys saw the team. Doesn't look bad at all. And uh, yeah, I guess let's just head to the playoffs. Hopefully our playbook can carry us um, carry us to glory. Hopefully you guys are enjoying the content. I don't want you guys to just be sitting here and for me to making bad content. So if you guys think that this sort of video is bad, let me know in the comments. I don't want to keep making content that you guys think is bad and, and whatnot. And I'm happy to have the face cam back. And hopefully you guys are too. Uh, got a new one and it looks a lot better in my opinion. So happy with it. And um, a few other things just kind of the the, the channel has been bad <laughs> i'm gonna be honest the channel's been horrible uh so i definitely look to improve that and kind of focus on this channel a little bit more and uh you know just really uh dial in start spending some time and effort on this one it's going to take a lot of time out of my day to just really start working on this one and and really trying and uh, i think that i have the time to do it i'm just a little uh on and off with other channels and whatnot so um yeah i mean hopefully we can figure out the this together and get past the slump that we're in and push forward i'm just kidding uh tell me what other teams you guys want me to do as well because i'm not here to just do i mean teams that you guys that i come up with like obviously you guys should have a say in it so comment down below if you have any teams you guys want me to do this with i'm, I'm more than happy to i will definitely okay i'm gonna commit to it i will fix the draft class in the next two days um today is the 29th for me so it'll be done on the 30th or 31st i think there's 31 days in january i could be wrong i don't think there is no so february 1st is today, is this uh this year leap year i feel like we haven't had one in so long that one of these upcoming years has to be or has to be so i don't know um anywho uh we did make the playoffs going 11 and 6 more than happy josh allen for the, for the most yards in the league along with touchdowns with only nine interceptions, MVP season, by the way. Um, John Muir didn't play. That's really stupid. James Cook somehow takes over that number one spot. I don't know. I don't know. I, I don't care about this game. This game sucks. Gabe Davis, 1,700 yards. Stephon Diggs, nearly 14. What in the world was Gabe Davis on? Uh, I guess he's big play anyways. So uh, Khalil Shakir's here. I forgot about him too. So uh, none of our in, uh, rookies really contributed at all. Uh, blocking, don't care. Defensively, I care though. Uh, Matt Milano doing what he does best, and that is getting tackles along with Garrett Williams. Oh my goodness. And then tackles for a loss 14, 14, 11, and 10. And then sacks at Oliver leading the way. And then Von Miller, Epinesa, Rousseau, Daquan Jones even got a few. Or I guess got one and a half. And uh, Ryan Neal was solid, not great. Five interceptions for Matt Milano, three for Tremaine Edmonds. Ryan Neal had one white. Hyde and Grimes all had one as well. So good stuff there for our, our team. It, it looks good. Uh, numbers kind of are on and off with some players. And um, obviously we saw uh, Josh Allen go absolutely wild. And that will move Garrett Williams up to a 77 overall. I think it should. So Garrett Williams was definitely the right pick. Syracuse corner, I think third round, we were able to snag him up. And more than happy with that pick as he has turned into someone uh, that is it is quickly developing into a better player for this team. So, um, yeah, I don't th I don't think it's a bad pick at all. In the wild card, we have the Tennessee Titans standing in our way. Can we beat them? I, I bet we can. Yes, forty two to twenty eight. Now Las Vegas on a little bit of a comeback season, ten and seven, uh, really good record. It's almost our eleven and six. We only had one more win than them in the re uh, regular season, but in the postseason, let's get the win over them. And we lose 49 to nothing. Are the Raiders like playbook? Because I see them in the playoffs like every year. So I think the Raiders playbook might be might be really good for some reason. So that is it for me. Uh, I appreciate you guys for watching. And uh, I just want to remind you guys to like and subscribe. Both of them are free. You can definitely do them both for free. And you can undo uh, both actions at any time you ever wanted and or needed. Uh, so just just subscribe come on guys god dude i hate those people actually um we'll talk about this real quick uh, i hate those people that say like eat a cookie or like subscribe for for a cookie or something like that stupid
I don't know what I'm talking about anymore. See you guys next time.